hello today we're going to talk about iron iron is a mineral which is very very important for the proper functioning of human body a lot of people across the globe about 30% people suffer from iron deficiency of which 57% are women now today we're going to talk about foods that will help you to boost your iron levels and certain changes in the way you eat which will also help you to boost your iron levels we not definitely going to talk about the over the counter iron supplements because i've seen a lot of people end up taking supplements without consulting a doctor please understand while iron um, deficiency is not good for us iron toxicity is equally bad for us so if you're someone who feels who's been taking iron rich food and hasn't seen any change maybe it's time for you to consult a doctor or do a blood test to make sure that you do not have uh, you know uh, iron uh, deficiency or if you have iron deficiency let a doctor prescribe the uh, the supplements so with that let's just move into straight to our tips tip number 1 is eat iron rich food Yes while we all of us talk about eating a iron rich diet but in our daily routine we have a certain pattern of eating and we end up eating the same way thereby we uh, you know tend to develop deficiencies so eating a versatile diet eating a diet which is rich in meat seafood uh, nuts and seeds whole grains which are natural and not processed or refined um, you know your uh, uh, dates green leafy vegetables are rich source of protein uh, you could look up uh, the rich sources of uh, iron in uh, you know and see what really matches with your diet and what is it that you can add into a diet make a list of that and just pin it up on your fridge so that it is it is a constant reminder for you to add those food items to your diet Um, now when we talk about iron there are two kinds of iron there is heme iron which is the iron which we get through meat sources which is readily absorbed and then we have non heme iron which is plant based uh, and and you know the absorption is slightly difficult and in the tip number 2 we're going to talk about a way where uh, how we can really work with the absorption of non heme iron so uh, you should club tip number 2 is club your iron rich food with vitamin c when you club it with uh, vitamin c uh, the the absorption becomes much better so for example if you're having uh, you know um, beans you could cook it with tomato and thereby the absorption becomes better or if you're having almonds you could have it with some strawberries and absorption becomes better now tip number 3 Uh, is uh, you know soak your lentils or your legumes or your pulses uh, if they are whole legumes soak them overnight if they are normal dal soak them for few hours and why do i say that because they are uh, you know these are also a rich source of phytic acid or phytates and they create problem uh, in your iron absorption so when you soak them and wash them thoroughly before cooking you can actually get rid of those uh, phytic acid and get your iron readily absorbed in the body tip number 4 is avoid tea and coffee with your meals uh, while you can have them in between your meals but having them with your meals reduces the absorption of iron a study has actually proven that a black tea with your meal reduces your iron absorption by 60% so you may want to be careful because we don't want to you know work hard to make our um, our diet iron rich uh, and and then have a tea or coffee and reduce the absorption um tip number 6 uh, tip number 5 uh, is avoid calcium supplement with a iron um, rich uh, diet because when you take a iron rich diet and you take a calcium supplement neither of them are going to be absorbed so make sure that if you're taking a diet which is iron rich um, then you are you know you should maintain a gap in your calcium supplement tip number 6 is avoid over the counter antacids so lot of you carry uh, things like gelisil digene uh, ranitidine and and just have pop a pill at the onset of acidity please understand that that reduces uh, the stomach uh, you know acid which is important for digestion and for absorption of uh, iron so uh, if if you've been prescribed those pills by a doctor then it's a different thing but please avoid uh, 
you know over the counter antacids um tip number 7 is use non enamel cast iron pans because when you cook your food in cast iron pans uh, the uh, the iron content improves it gets better and it is better for absorption as well um, so if you're uh, you know if you're cooking your uh, food in iron uh, vessels the iron content is then much better uh, now these were the tips from food perspective now there could be few conditions where the iron levels are low these conditions are uh, you know celiac disease or uh, crohn's disease or if you uh, you know have heavy bleeding through your menstrual cycle uh, in such conditions uh, please consult your doctor and and check out a plan uh, to make sure that uh, you're not really iron deficient Uh, the last tip is for women who uh, are planning their pregnancy please make sure that you meet your doctor or you uh, you know do a blood test to know your iron levels and really work on improving your iron levels because that will help you uh, plan towards a healthy pregnancy make sure that you're eating uh, all iron rich foods and if required then you go on supplement if you have any question regarding this particular mineral uh, put them in the comment section or put it on my facebook group we'll be glad to get back to you don't forget to like share and subscribe we'll talk again bye bye